In this section, we're going to be taking a look at parallel and perpendicular lines. And our first task is to be able to tell if lines are parallel or perpendicular. We're going to hit parallel first, then we'll come back and do some perpendicular lines in the same way. Now, parallel lines are lines that never cross. We can see these three lines right here, which continue all forever in both directions. In order to be able to determine if they cross or not, we're going to take a look at the slope. Two lines that go in exactly the same direction with the same slope are never going to intersect each other, so we need to see if any of these lines have the same slope. So this one goes up and to the right, up one, two, three, four, five, and to the right, two. This line goes up and to the right, it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and to the right, three, and this line goes up and to the right, it goes up 10 and to the right, one, two, three, four. If we organize those as slope, rise over run would give us five halves. This one would be seven thirds. And this one is 10 fourths. Now it might not look like these are parallel or have the same slope initially, but if we take a look and simplify these, 10 fourths simplifies to five halves, and so we can see that this one and this one have the same slope, even though they were originally written differently. So these two are parallel to each other. This one is not. So black and green are parallel. Now we're not always given a graph. We've got to be able to do the same task with information that's presented in different ways. Let's suppose we were given these three lines and some points that they pass through. Now, I like to put them on a graph to find a slope. I've already done that to save us some time, so I've put these into the graph and figured the slope for each of these three the way it would be if we were to find the rise over run. I'm gonna simplify these where possible. Six divided by two is three, two divided by one is two, and two thirds is fully simplified. So three, two, and two thirds, we can see that none of these have the same slope. That means that none of these are parallel to each other. In this third type of example, we take a look at equations. Now, remember, it's the slope that we're looking at, and this is in slope-intercept form, so I can just take a look at this and see that the slope is one-third. This one is a little bit tougher because it's not in the right form, so let's solve for y to figure out what the slope of that is. By dividing by three, we find that y equals one-third x plus 18 divided by three is six. And then same with this one, it's not in the right form to immediately see the slope, so let's solve that by adding 2x to both sides. We get 3y equals 2x plus 9, and we'll divide by 3, and we'll divide both these by 3, and we get y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. So now we can see the slopes on these two lines. The slope of this is 1 third, the slope of this one is 2 thirds, and the slope of the first one was one-third. So these two have the same slope, they are parallel, and this one is not. Next, we're going to take a look at perpendicular lines and see if we can tell if lines are perpendicular to each other. Now, perpendicular lines intersect at 90 degree angles. It's kind of hard to tell that just by looking at it sometimes, so we're going to use the slope again, and we need to know that perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Let's do a couple of examples of negative reciprocals. Negative means that if one is positive, the other is negative. If the first one's negative, the other ends up being positive. And reciprocal is a word that talks about flipping a fraction upside down. So if I have a slope for one line that's 2 thirds, the negative reciprocals would make that negative, and it would flip the numerator and denominator to make it 3 halves. If I had, let's say, negative 4 as a fraction, that would be negative 4 over 1, and the negative reciprocal of that would make this positive 1 over 4. So we're looking for things like this as we go through our example problems. All right, let's take a look at the slopes of all of these lines. This one goes up 1, 2, 3, and right 2, so the slope of this line is 3 halves. This one goes up one, two, three, four, and right two, so the slope of this one is four halves. And this one goes down one, two, and over one, two, three, so that would be negative two over three. And we can see that these two are positive and negative, and the numerator and denominator have switched places. 
So this line and this line right here are perpendicular to each other. This one is neither perpendicular nor parallel to either one of those. Let's take a look at some examples from points. And from these points, you, get, you can see that we have gotten the slope of 3 halves, 3 halves, and negative 1 half. None of these are negative reciprocals of each other, but these two are the same slope, so these two are parallel, but we do not have any perpendicular lines in this set. Taking a look at our equations, we can see that the slope on this one is 6. We need to work with these to be able to find the slope, so we're going to divide this by 6. That ends up being y equals negative 1 sixth x. And then on this one, we'll subtract 6x, and we get y equals negative 6x plus 1. Okay, so our slope here is 6, our slope here is negative 1 sixth, and our slope here is negative 6. Okay. This one is 6 over 1 written as a fraction, and this one is negative 6 over 1. We've got to be very careful with our positives and negatives. This one is a negative. It is the reciprocal of both of these, but it is the negative only of this one. So we've got a negative and positive here, and our reciprocal. So these two are perpendicular. Thank you.